Kat, I wanted to ask your opinion on something I've been mulling over a lot, which is that um, societally, but as well within this spiritual slash non-dual space, there is a lot more, should we say, male gurus and you know, who are perhaps put on a pedestal and that kind of thing. And from like my wife and I, for example, like I know in terms of the way we both approach this kind of stuff, I'm the more thinky conceptual and she's the more heart. She's the heart. I'm mm. the head. She's the heart. Let's say not to say in any way that I'm brighter than her. Cause I'm not. Um, but I, I think that the kind of the male domination of this means that we miss something a little bit i wondered what you thought about that yeah so i think we're missing a huge amount in the in the formal representation of this right sages on stages yeah. which which i hope is changing um but i think will change along with the societal change because of course we're going to see men on a podium teaching because that's how our society um works at the moment um so maybe it wasn't always like that and I'm hoping it will change. What I do want, what I do think is that also this idea that there are people who are more heart oriented or more thinky, or that's also an identity we've taken on, right? I would question whether you're really, I mean, that's how you experience yourself and that's how, yeah. you, but of course you are, you have just as much access to heart yeah. as your wife. Um, that's just not part of how you see yourself. So that's also an aspect and we see what we want to see so if we want to see men teaching on podiums that is what we're going to get so it's sort of like um i'm not talking about you know we 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 get what we want uh, or what we you know the affirmation stuff but we do reality does reflect how we collectively are um and i think as society changes because it is changing mm. This this era of, of people sitting on a stage teaching, that's going to end. I think it's actually ending already. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean about the head and the heart, but people do talk about like the feminine principle and the masculine principle, for example. Yeah. And, you know, like, like again, the best example I've got is my wife. Like she definitely embodies that more naturally than me and i think i think previously there's been it's the yin and the yang right it's it, there's too much of one side and not another and until we you know, until those two kind of come together then i do think it's it's missing something um yeah yeah but maybe that's a question of seeing that we are both yeah ready um because Part of saying, you know, I am more thinky and, and have less access, that, that actually creates that. Yeah. Deep. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. One more. Politics, right? Mm. Now, my view is that until this recognition really reaches a tipping point politics is kind of it has value and it does move the needle forward a little bit right but it's at the same time the old paradox shuffling deck chairs on the titanic because it's based on this faulty presumption of of separation and you know i can only get ahead if you if i clamber over you all that kind of stuff and so for me, politics is limited by the mainstream materialist paradigm upon which it's based. And th that shifting is far more impactful than any politics within that paradigm could ever be. Yeah, just as with anything else, right? Um, it's always, you know, the downstream upstream thing. We're, we're mucking around downstream and trying to decide whether we're left wing or right wing or, or you know, what policies to implement. Whereas if we would go all the way upstream and see what we really are, well, the whole thing 
becomes a different conversation. It's it's just a completely different level of um, of of yeah being. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And just finally, then, just in terms of the materialist paradigm, full stop, which is from my vantage point bonkers. This idea that you know experience or experiencing emerges from something that we experience matter a brain you know we only ever experience a brain you know when it's in a vat and we can see it or we can touch it or whatever so it's within experience it's so bonkers i think to me that you know we have it that way round and yet it's so deeply rooted i wonder what your experience and and bemusement level with that is um yeah after after writing beyond illusion i i rarely think about that anymore um and it's interesting because there was a brief phase where i would think about that and then have the same you know oh it's bonkers and how come and 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 my whole education and people are still believing this and how can they and and all this stuff and in the meantime i just find that these these types of thoughts really rarely come anymore um and that's not because I trust the universe is going to change the paradigm and we're all soon going to be idealists instead of materialists. Um, but it's just that because it's the obviousness of it. Look, everything, everything else is just, it just is, right? There's apparently a bunch of scientists who are materialists. Okay. <laughs> you know, th that, is, um, that is the now, that is this. And um, from a personal point of view, yeah, I hope it will change and more people will just, um, will have this Coper Co no, the Copernican revolution of the self. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's not mine, obviously. Um, but um, does it need to happen? And see all that stuff, we attach to it again. Yeah. But it is, again, the not and or, but yes and, isn't it? It's like you... Like I would hope and pray and love for that shift to happen. But as you say, at the absolute fundamental level, well, what is, is. Um, but at the same time, I, you know, anything I can, might say, well, it does sound egotistical, anything, any part I can play, however tiny, in saying, hello, mm. then, you know, that that to me is still like the most valuable thing, it seems to me, that, I can do. Yeah. See, do you and get that, that? I, I get that completely. And, and that's, that has totally disappeared for me. Really? Yeah. So, but you still talk about it though, right? Yeah. That, I mean, it comes out, <laughs> but, but I have no, um, no thoughts or, or interest in um, changing the world anymore. But you would like the world to change. No, not even that. But you said you a minute ago you, you have thoughts along those lines. If I if I have to think about it, then yes, I would like that to happen. If so from the personal, you know, let's discuss this, what would yeah. I like? Yeah. So but I found that that stuff never you know, you ask me and an answer comes. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I don't think about these things anymore. And I used to think about them a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting.